A king ruled a country and he had three sons. The eldest two sons were selfish and greedy, while the youngest was gentle and loved his state. The people of the state also loved him very much and called him their king. As the king was getting old, one day the king became very ill. So his two eldest sons came to the king and said, "Our lord, you are sick. Now you can't manage this state, so this state should be divided between us two brothers." The king was very sad that both of them only thought about themselves and didn't care about their younger brother. The king ordered that to become the king of this state, the old tradition will be followed. The old royal tradition required the king's sons to compete by living like commoners, either earning money through hard work or winning hearts of the people with gifts by getting a goat and a cow to claim the throne. The one who will appear in front of the king first will win the contest to be appointed as king. The king ordered his minister to leave the prince outside his state. Following the order of the king, all the three princes were left separately in another state. The eldest prince directly went to a butcher and told him that I am a prince of another state and I need a goat and a cow to become a king. As soon as I will become king I will give you many rewards the butcher said I don't need any rewards I will give you a goat and a cow but in return you have to make a promise that whenever you become king you will marry my daughter the prince promised to marry his daughter and took a goat and a cow and went back to his state the middle prince also asked people for a goat and a cow People advised him to go to a witch to get his need fulfilled. He went to the witch and said that he want a beautiful goat and a cow so I can become the king of my state. Witch said, "Yes, I can give you a goat and a cow, but in exchange I will also need a soul. Also keep in mind whoever slaughters this goat, I will take the soul of that person." The prince agreed and after getting his goat and cow, he thought of staying in the forest for a few days. On the other hand, youngest prince was passing by a village in another state when he saw an old man in difficulty of pulling heavy things with him. As the prince was very kind, he quickly took all the goods from him and said, "I will help you." After taking the goods, they both walked towards the house. After going home, the old man thanked the prince and said, "Son, you are not from this village." Prince said, "Yes, I am not from here. I came here in search of work from another state." The old man said, "If you do all the work in my house, I will pay you for it." The prince agreed and did all the work of the old man. The old man gave prince a goat as a gift. He thanked him and took the goat and walked forward. While walking, he saw a snake's tail under a stone. The moment the prince tried to push the stone out of snake's tail, the snake changed into a jinn. Jinn thanked the prince and said, "Make any wish, I will grant it." The prince wished for a cow, and a cow appeared in front of him. The little prince now went back to his state. The day when all the princes came back to their state, the king asked, "How did all of you buy cow and goat?" So the eldest prince said. that i used my intellect and bought it from a butcher the king said that you have cheated it was clear in the tradition that you have to buy by hard work or by winning someone's heart you didn't do that so you cannot become a king after that the middle son appeared before the king the king said that you have spent so many days surely you must have bought it with your hard work So you should slaughter both for the joy of becoming a king and put this meat in your state and share among all the people even after the prince prayed a lot when the prince slaughtered a goat on the king's order the witch came there and took the prince all with her and he died right there in front of the king the king was very sad that his two sons betrayed him now the youngest prince appeared in front of the king and he told the king everything about After hearing everything from the youngest prince the king became very happy that his son has fulfilled the tradition with honesty and he happily gave his son the throne of the kingdom